property and intellectual property. Yeah. You know, you, you always have to worry that, um, anyone you're collaborating with or working with is going to uh, steal your idea or, or pass on that information to someone else that it's about loss of control. Really? Uh, uh, is, um, my personal experience is, is that lack of external collaboration has been about loss of control. And, and, um, I think that's one thing people, people can get uncomfortable about is the loss of control that some of these using some of these technologies opening up organizational boundaries a little bit uh to, to outside parties um so so I, I you know i look at that and i say well um i i don't i don't know how to solve it other than saying uh, i'll come back to starting small in communities of trust Right, so the the change isn't always can can never really happen by being dictated and saying you all shall do this and we all shall collaborate or do this. That whether it's internally across departments, you you have to build relationships and build trust. And and if we look at it that way, you can apply whatever technology you're going to apply. You can you can use the the world's greatest web based uh, collaboration platform. But what you don't do is you, you're not going to go put your uh, intellectual property portfolio on the web and ask everybody for their opinion on, you know, your patents. You might put a few things online somewhere around a specific project with one or two external partners and say, let's go solve this problem together. And we happen to now have some really interesting, easy to use technologies that can help us do that. That we couldn't do before because before we had to fly everyone to a conference room, lock the door, put a bunch of papers down on a, on a table and, and project something on a wall. Now we can, we can make that collaboration happen more easily, but it doesn't change the fact that you would start small with, with uh, trust relationship.